My name's Chris Jones, one of the thousands of Aussies called Jones. I'm a South Australian, born in Adelaide. Like a lot of my mates when the war began in Korea, I reckoned there was a job to be done, so I enlisted. And then one morning out I march onto Kingsford Smith Airport in Sydney. We're a draft for the 3rd Battalion Royal Australian Regiment, and we're on our way to the war. No bands, no streamers. Up the gangway into an airliner like a bunch of big businessmen off to a conference. When Grandad sailed in a troop ship for Gallipoli, he wouldn't have dreamed of this. The flying trooper with the lounge seats and the chicken salad lunch. You're bound for Tokyo. And Tokyo's quite a place. Third biggest city in the world. Big department stores and everything you can think of in the windows. And plenty to look at. You even find yourself looking at it twice. This was General MacArthur's headquarters. Now, the Japanese are running their own country. The great moat that surrounds the Imperial Palace is full of golden carp that are practically tame. It's the home of the Emperor Hirohito, and the Imperial Palace is the heart of Japan. A big house for a big shot. In the palace garden is Yoko. She's called Jacqueline for short. Any soldier will tell you that there are two races in Japan, the men and the women. Somehow they don't seem to prefer the men. Ah well, goodbye Yoko. Goodbye Tokyo and the night lights. Next stop, Korea.